when you get to a certain point, it's just like, just doing it for the music. It's not about like playing it perfectly in front of everyone. I think it's just I, I enjoy playing the music and that's why I do it. Close enough to start a war All that I have is on the floor God only knows what we're fighting for All that I say You always say more playing guitar because I listened to Colby Calais and she's always like my like inspiration for music. My dad had a CD of the very best of Ray Charles and my favorite song was What Did I Say and I would just listen to that for hours and I just never got tired of it and that's how I got into jazz. For seventh and eighth grade in the fall and the spring I would dance after school with the high school kids which was super intimidating and like kind of really scary but I really liked it anyway and so that's how I started dancing here. I've always loved clothes and I just thought that if I brought my art and my clothes together it'd be a really interesting starting to like happen in like the fashion world. That's what people are starting to do. I really loved playing great music, classical music, but uh, I, I kind of thought, well, wait a minute, Beethoven and Mozart, they all wrote these things, so what if I tried to write something? It really just started off as doing something to have a good time with your friends and then it, over the years turned into more of a commitment and still having fun with it so I continued and became more and more of a commitment. The uh, earliest memory I have of playing piano was playing some like um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I had written some stuff down but I kind of scratched a lot of that off and just did a lot of improv. I remember like I went to the doctor once and he's like oh like, these are pretty good drawings, you're drawing hands and feet, like that's pretty good for a kid your age. I don't know if I have one solid first memory, but I have like memories and obviously pictures and videos of being like a little girl like in a dance studio. We wrote our own play and I was some grandmaster villain and I mean it was fourth grade so I think I sent everyone to their death in the pit of lava or something like that. Um, freshman year around the end, like towards summer, I started writing my own songs and I mean that just started to try and I started writing all the time. You show up. You're already tired, and you're starving, so you eat some things, and then while you're still starving and tired, you start working. We're here, you know, every day after school, Monday through Friday, from 3.30 all the way to 5.30, sometimes 6. Like, I'll never really watch TV. I think that's just a waste of time. It's not really productive. I would like, like to get in an hour to two hours a day. Five days a week, just in the studio for like, I don't even know the entire day pretty much. I just keep playing it over and over and over and I just never get tired of it. Because you put so much work into this night after night. Like six, seven hours a day and this was every single day. And then we come in during free periods too sometimes when we're working on shows. So it's, it's a lot of time spent in here. If I was told that I wasn't allowed to sing anymore, um, probably feel like the world was ending, <laughs> to be honest. I'd be furious. <laughs> wow. Um. I'd probably be pretty pissed off. Um, I really don't know what I'd do. Everyone needs that outlet, that expression, and I think like everyone has their own thing, but my thing has always been singing. I think that music is kind of necessary for all of us, and to take that away from somebody is just kind of taking uh, a lot of what's human about that person away from them. If I can't like translate what's in my head into music, then it's, I don't know. I'd probably find some way to dance anyway. Be pretty bored, I guess. Yeah, wouldn't be able to express myself. There's not really a substitute to me for being able to become another person. I think it's really great to, after you finish playing, listen to that silence because if you've done something that I think is effective or remarkable, it leaves an impression and the silence should never be the same as it was before you played.
After the last scene and after play is over, especially if it's the last night, it's really a cathartic process. When you get to a certain point, it's just like, just doing it for the music. It's kind of almost like an out-of-body experience. It's, it's nice to be able to put that behind you and then say, well, now I'm Alec Long again. As soon as you step on that stage, like out of the wings, it's just, that's it. That's all there is. I don't know, like, the way I describe it is every time I'm on stage, I just know that's where I belong. It makes you feel good, like, after you finish work and cells or you finish in, it's really complete and you have a hang on your wall. It's just, it's like an accomplishment. It's really kind of sublime. Um, when, when, before anybody starts a reaction, I feel that there's kind of this aura. After the piece is finished, there's like smoke that, that remains. There's just so much you can do in music. Like even just listening, there's so much music out there that you can, even if you're just listening to it, there's so much out there for you to discover. So there's always something new that you can come to love about it. You can be a serious dancer, you can be a ballerina, you can dance in your living room, you can dance in your shower, but don't fall down because it's slippery in there. <laughs> I think the art's like actually really good for people. I think people don't appreciate it as much, but like when people do see it and have to like look at cool things that they actually like that they're actually going to appreciate it. I think that there's always like a work out there for everyone. So there's so much you can do with it, but whatever type of person you are, whatever skill level, you can dance and you can enjoy it. I think that music is about uh, expressing something that's it's human, it's fundamentally human, you know, it's imperfect. Uh, I, I'm glad I have music in my life and even if I'm not singing, like just listening to music just calms me down, it makes me feel better. So I just feel like that's how I always knew it was an important part of my life because I knew I couldn't live without it. So It's about emotion and it's about feeling and it's about what do you feel. I think the theater community can help save people's lives in terms of giving them somewhere to belong. People that feel like they don't fit in in other communities, but feel like they do fit in in theater, are truly helped by theater. The cast is a family. If you're not a family, it's hardly a play. I felt like it was like a place where people cared. It became sort of a sanctuary. Even if I'm not getting anything out of it, just being on that stage, I just like feel like it's like the right place, you know? Like everyone has that like one place that they feel like completely comfortable. It's like a good place to come clear your mind, get some exercise, but also feel like you're like expressing something creative or emotional. I don't know, like just you just grow up closer to the people around you. Like you don't think about school, you don't think about anything, you just think about what you're doing right then. I'm kind of just doing it and that's kind of, it kind of clears my mind when I'm playing because it's just I'm thinking about what I'm going to do next. I was able to like combine all my talents together for once in my life. I find a lot of it in myself and in wanting to do better. I'm the type of person who puts a lot of pressure on myself. The more you do it, the better you get, so hopefully one day I'll have paintings sold in a store or something. When I write my songs, I want to inspire feeling in people. That's my main goal always. I'll, sometimes I just hear a song or I just hear a little part of a song and I'll just be like, wow, that is so cool. I kind of need to have release from the more serious things in life, the more dramatic things. Like, you don't know why. It's kind of unexplainable. I've always got music playing in my head. It's, it's always there and it always should be a part of you. You know, like, I feel like there's always going to be people out in that huge world that are going to like it. There's always people that like everything. Anybody can enjoy watching a ballet. It's beautiful. If you're doing something you love, then like your whole life just is a different experience. Like trying to explain it to another person is just not really something you can put into words. Everything feels like the movie
tears Yeah, you bleed just to know you 